What's up? What's up, guys? We're back. Uh, not very often that you get to see a live video of anything I do in here, so I thought that I would, uh, you know, show you guys a little project I'm working on right now. We have a dual E5 C602 chipset board here. I'm gonna try to get it working. Um, Right now it's only got one Z on. I'm trying to rock two of these which just came in so I'm going to be fitting this in there. It is, ooh man that is hard to see on a GoPro. Yeah okay well I will tell you it is a E5 2690. Right now we only got one installed. Looking looking to maybe get two. We're going to fit the other one on. We don't have proper heat sinks for it. Technically these are the proper heat sinks for it. It's supposed to go in like a 1 to 2U chassis, so it's been getting pretty hot. We're going to get proper heat sinks for it down the road, but right now we're in the very early preliminary stages. I got my thermal paste ready to go. I had to go pick up a uh, 480 gig SSD because this does support SATA 3 on these two ports, but uh, it boots right now. Uh, we're going to try to get it to boot with this 970 here and see if we can get any performance out of it with two CPUs, but right now i got to look into the thick manual and see where... Uh, I would split four dim slots between two CPUs, so we'll see in a sec. Alright, so we got the second CPU installed. It didn't take me no time. I let's uh let's get her booted up. I had the power supply turned on already now. I don't know how I don't, still do not know the pinout for this motherboard, so we're gonna just God damn it. Ah There we go. We're live. Server boards take a hot second though. Let's get into the BIOS. Let's also crack open the key to the resistance. Holy moly, your boots. Alright, sweet. So we got the two, two processors in there. This thing is really loud. All right, we're good to go. We got our scan disk supplied. Save changes and reset. I plan on getting something kind of overkill. These aren't cold running, but I hopefully plan on getting like uh, NHU12S Chromax GPU. I'd like to. I'd like to maybe get. It's hard to see here. Turn the lights. Uh, my 1080 Ti in there, but right now it's got that Accelero air cooler mod on there and. Uh, I'd like to be able to, it's not going to fit, it's going to interrupt with the RAM and the two RAM slots that are going to be here. I plan on using 64 gigs of ECC RAM, so all the DIMMs are going to be filled. Right now I'm just using a, a 1030, the DDR4 model no less, I'm not gaming on that. We are going to put this 970 in here in a little bit. The DDR4, I mean DDR3 right now, 16 gigs, uh, 1866. So it shouldn't be too bad, but we're going to install Windows really quick, so we'll, we'll fill up in a bit. I think I'm pretty s*** with building computers, to be honest, because I am so familiar with things crashing, and reinstalling Windows, I can do blindfolded nowadays. In the three years I've been fucking with computers, I think I've had to reinstall Windows at least 20 times on all my systems. Which... It's never fun. I have a lot of programs and sound stuff that I always have to re-download. And, and, I, and I feel with this system, this is the first. And this is not going to be the only time I'm probably be installing Windows on this system. But uh, we'll see. Um, I'm really excited. I do like doing this older CPU dual socket system. And I've already done it with uh, an X58 build. I did... Um, actually, you know what? show you guys. So it's not powered on right now, but uh, this was a dual X58 uh, server board and I took X5675s and I put them in here. They're running at 3.2. It's got a 1070 in there. And you know, at 2K, it runs it runs pretty well. Uh, the 1070 is still a very powerful card. I feel like, uh, you know, the CPUs aren't really bottlenecking. And with this, I also don't feel like you know, it's going to be a bottleneck for a 1080 Ti. I want to put my 2080 in here, but uh, 
I don't know. I, I'll, I'll see how the, 10, the 1080 Ti performs. It's a Strix model, so it should perform pretty well, so we'll see. See, like, this is why it's never easy when you want to do something like bootleg and ghetto like I do. Like, look at this. I just installed Windows. Everything went fine. I didn't even get to boot into Windows yet. Like, I changed the... Haha, uh. <laughs> <laughs> after much trial and error, we're finally in. Listen, I, I really think that, that this thing draws enough power where I don't have EcoBoost on on this thing. So this power supply comes with like a switch to have the fan not turn on only when it needs to be turned on and then turned on all the time. And after trying a hundred times to get this to boot, I was bored and I flipped the off switch on to keep the power supply cool because I'd been booting and rebooting a bunch of times. And all of a sudden, as soon as I turn that on, it works. So we're finally booted into Windows, and I don't know how well you guys can see that, but we are actually running at full clocks. I didn't think this motherboard was going to be able to run at its max turbo frequency, but we are sitting here at, at 3.8. Yeah, that's that's pretty incredible. So now we're going to you know, download Chrome, download a bunch of things, make sure we have the latest driver for the N70, not N70, the 970. and. Uh, yeah, let me get a better mouse and then we'll, we'll figure out what's going on here. This is going to take some time. Yeah, so we got it up and working. We have, uh, we have uh, Rocket League running at 1680 by 1050. Max quality, you know, we're running the 970. We're getting like 200. 250 uh, frames per second. But uh, obviously this is a much lower resolution monitor. So, we're going to make it still run at 2K, but right now we're running at 970. I feel like when we put a 1080 Ti in here, we might be getting much better results. But I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll figure this out.